for somebody who's involved in oil sands, mm -hmm. I do spend a lot of time thinking about reservoirs that don't have oil in them. Mm -hmm. So I spend a lot of time looking for brackish water sources. Mm -hmm. and I spend a lot of time looking at disposal zones for water. So we are we're trying to do things with as little an impact as possible, which means not using fresh water. So typically, a sandy operation like this would pull water from a water source on the surface and would use that to generate the steam. Well, OSIN is not going to be doing that. We'll be using that. Um, and, and also, that's regulated by government issues now. Mm -hmm. New sandy operations will not be allowed to use fresh water. So I've been spending uh, a lot of time planning wells that will test for a brackish water source. Um, we're collaborating with other uh, companies in the area who are also looking at brackish water sources, sharing our data, sharing our resources, um, mm -hmm. mapping together to try and better our, our ability to, to identify these zones. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing we're do working on for disposal water, so um, we will occasionally have some uh, water that we need to dispose of. The, the folks here are working on a, a produce water reuse that so we don't use, so when we do pull up that brackish water, we, we aren't, um, you know, expend, we're, we're able to take it out of the, put it into the reservoir of, that we're producing uh, the bitumen from, pull it back out, cycle it through, clean it, and use it again for the steam generation. Um, but occasionally there will be times when we have excess water and we need to dispose of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm finding a zone that, um, it's going to be a very deep zone, as deep as we can get. It's over a, a kilometer deep, but I spend a lot of time looking at zones above me as well, so um, Cap rock integrity is something that's a big part of our delineation program this year. So I have, um, in one of the wells, uh, a geologist doesn't like to core too much shale, but for this purpose we were very excited to get some good shale behind core barrel. So we cored um, continuously through uh, the top of our reservoir before we actually got to the, the sand. That's called our cap or our seal to our steam operations. And we're doing some geomechanical studies on that shale. We're also looking at some offset wells um, and, and how they're going to relate to the integrity of that cap rock. So for us, it's all important that the steam that we put in the ground stays in the reservoir, mm -hmm. that, that we intend it to. Uh, that's good economically. It it's, makes for a light, nice thermal little blanket for your operations. But uh, most importantly, you don't want steam escape to surface. Mm -hmm. So we need to show to ourselves and to, to the community that we have integrity of that, that reservoir. So that's the work that I'm doing. Um, there's, there's a lot of things that go on. Every decision I make, I know, has some impact in the field. So um, when I talk about how many wells I can fit on a pad, the more wells on a pad, the smaller the pad footprint will be. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it's all those sorts of thoughts that go into how we develop our reservoir. Mm -hmm. From uh, even though I, I probably spend about ninety percent of my time thinking about what's below ground, um, I know it does have an impact on what goes on.